hello students so in this video we are going to cover cover science and technology current affairs for upsc 2023 from january 2022 to june 2022 in the next part we will cover the rest of the current affairs so coming to the first topic gaganyaan so gaganyaan means the sky vehicle so the main objective of gaganyaan is to undertake human space flight in the low earth orbit so this mission is divided into three phases in the first phase it consists of uncrewed mission where the technological demonstration safety and reliability verification is done in the second phase it is unmanned mission called vyom mitra where a robot is sent to the space and in the third phase humans are sent to the space so gaganyaan mission is completely indigenous project so this mission is launched by gslv mark 3 vehicle so coming to the gslv mark 3 vehicle it is uh, a launch vehicle which can carry about 4 tons of weight into the geosynchronous orbit and 10 tons of weight to the low earth orbit so gaganyaan weigh about 8000 kg which is 8 tons so gslv can easily <coughs> carry out carry this gaganyaan into the low earth orbit so some other space missions are first one is small satellite launch vehicle sslv so it is a three stage all carry vehicle which can carry multiple nano small or micro satellites up to 500 kg payload to an altitude of 500 kilometers the second one is radar imaging satellite resat 1a or eos 4 so it is a sixth uh, series of remote sensing satellite which has built to map terrains and study earth's different land areas and oceans coming to the next one is aditya l1 so it is designed to study sun's atmosphere in l1 it is called lagrange point 1 which is between earth and the sun so it will travel around 1.5 million kilometers from the earth for this task so it is going to launch in the mid to 2023 next is chandrayaan 3 so it will carry <clears throat> lander and rover to explore the least explored region of moon which is in the south pole of lunar surface so with a soft landing Next is NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar NISAR mission. So here uh, its main objective is to provide information to scientists to better understand the effects and pace a climate change by studying the hazards and global environment changes and it helps to manage natural resources better. Next is Shukrayaan 1. So it is built to design the uh, it is built to design uh, to study the venus so it is a brightest planet in the solar system so shukrayaan 1 is designated to study venus the next topic is antimicrobial resistance amr so antimicrobials are those which fight against diseases in humans animals and plants but when the disease causing bacteria virus fungi and parasites doesn't respond to the medicines then they uh, in that situation that situation is called antimicrobial resistance so when the when uh, it doesn't respond to the medicines then that condition is called antimicrobial resistance so the microorganisms that develop antimicrobial resistance is called superbugs so according to the study conducted by lancet young children under 5 years are particularly affected to this antimicrobial resistance and in 2019 one in five deaths were due to this antimicrobial resistance the next topic is electric vehicles niti aayog rocky mountain institute and rocky mountain institute india has released banking on electric vehicles in india report So this report provides recommendations to encourage electric vehicles in the RBI's priority sector lending guidelines. So as to boost the investors' confidence and encourage electric vehicles in financial industry, uh, this report was released. 
so india has also <clears throat> taken some initiatives to promote electric vehicles so they are e amrit portal national electric mobility mission plan and fame scheme like faster adoption and manufacturing of evs and uh, several states like delhi uttar pradesh madhya pradesh telangana andhra pradesh have made policies to promote manufacturing of electric vehicles isro has also commercialized indigenously developed lithium ion battery technology to promote this electric vehicles next topic is internet of things so it is a machine to machine communication system where devices are operated through networks so smart homes driverless cars automation all are the examples of internet of things so to secure from the negative impacts of internet of things like data breach and security code of practice for securing consumer iots was released from the telecommunication engineering center the next topic is dark genome so dark genome is a dna outside our genes next topic is isros sslv so to have maiden flight in april so isros sslv is used to launch multiple small micro satellites with maximum load of 500 kg in the low earth orbits so it is it is it is three stage all solid vehicle so new space india limited is responsible for providing end to end sslv launch services for customer satellites next topic is china's chang a5 lunar probe finds first on site evidence on water on moon surface so china's chang a lunar mission has detected signs of water in the rocks and soil so uh, india's chandrayaan 1 launched in 2008 showed evidence for water in the exosphere of the moon and on the surface and subsurface of the moon and chandrayaan 2 launched in 2019 confirmed the presence of ice in the permanently shadowed region of the moon so on moon even helium 3 is found which can be used for fuel for nuclear fusion so other lunar missions are artemis by nasa volatiles investigation polar exploration rover by nasa korea pa- korea's pathfinder lunar orbiter by south korea and chandrayaan 3 by india so these are some of the other lunar missions the next topic is magnetic field on an exoplanet so uh, a planet beyond our solar system is called exoplanet so researchers have identified the first signature of magnetic field surrounding an exoplanet the earths also have a magnetic field that acts as a shield against the energetic particles from the sun known as the solar wind next topic is telecom players opposes satellite players demand for separate earth station licenses so satellites receive and transmit signals from the space to the earth stations on the earth so the telecom players are opposing to give separate earth station license to the satellite players 10th uh, next topic is conditional market authorization so conditional market authorization is the new market permission given by the drugs controller general of india for the covaxin and covi shield vaccines so conditional market authorization or cmas approve medicine based on the data normally required next topic is omishar omishar omicron patients are detected only after the genome sequencing so to detect omicron omishar kit is launched which is developed by the tata medical and diagnostics and is approved by the indian council of medical research next topic is ihu or university of hospital institutes new covid variant so ihu is a new covid variant detected in france 
Next topic is 5G technology poses a serious threat to the airline safety. So 5G is a new generation cellular data network that operates at high frequency and operates high speeds, hyperconnectivity, etc. So US have launched 5G bandwidth to uh, all mobile companies in 3.7 to 3.98 gigawatts gigahertz range that is disturbing the airline connectivity next topic is solar flare causes radio blackout over indian ocean so solar flare is a light the and heat energy released by x ray radiation and highly accelerated particle of the sun so nasa nasa's solar dynamics observatory has observed solar flare so solar flare is classified as b c m and x solar flares so b doesn't cause any effect on the earth and c type of solar flare affects on the space missions m causes m type of solar flare causes blackout in the radio transmissions and damage to the astronauts outside spacecraft and x space uh, x is, uh, solar flare causes damage to satellites communication systems power distribution stations and electronic equipment next topic is additive manufacturing so it is a process through which 3d object is built or manufactured from a computer aided design model so a new strategy on additive manufacturing was also released by the ministry of electronics and information technology additive manufacturing can be used to manufacture any three dimensional objects like wooden toy a glass table or even a human organ so the initiatives taken by india to improve and encourage the additive manufacturing technology are 3d manufacturing labs were established at national institute of electronics and information technology and uh, atal innovation machines atal tinkering labs are also set up for research purposes with the support of the experts and several states like gujarat andhra pradesh etc have collaborated with the foreign universities to set up a 3d printing labs and department of heavy industries collaborated with wipro to build india's first industrial grade 3d printer the next topic is quantum key distribution so it is a highly secure communication technology that uses quantum physics so it can be used for autonomous vehicle navigation weather modeling and prediction and transportation planning pharmaceutical development secure the financial communications resource explore, exploration etc so it is a secure type of technology next topic is data centers so data centers are the centralized location where large amount of the data is collected stored processed and distributed the next topic is stem cells so stem cells provide new uh, cells for the body and replaces the specialized cells that are damaged or lost so these stem cells are able to develop into many different types of cells so these cells are classified into somatic stem cells and embryotic stem cells so these stem cells can replace the lost or damaged cells that our body couldn't replace and can help in the treatment of various diseases like cardiovascular diseases uh, autoimmune diseases etc so recently a us patient became the first a uh, woman to be cured with the hiv after stem cell transplantation the next topic is uh, nuclear fusion so in a nuclear fusion reaction uh, two light nuclei merge to form a single heavier nucleus so this process releases energy and this reaction naturally occurs in the sun and stars so the scientists in the uk have managed to produce the largest amount of energy so far from the nuclear fusion reaction the next topic is chandrayaan 3 
So Chandrayaan 3 is a lunar mission which aims to put a lander and a rover in the highlands near the south pole of the moon in, uh, by July 2023. So it is a follow up of Chandrayaan 2. The next topic is Tamil Nadu says no to Indian neutrino observatory project in Theni. So neutrino is a subatomic particle that is very similar to the electron but has no electrical charge and very small mass which is almost equal to zero is present in the neutrino. So to study neutri neutrinos, Indian neutrino observatory is under construction near Theni in Tamil Nadu and uh, the Indian neutrino observatory is set up at 1200 meters deep cave so INO are helpful largely in medical fields like x-ray machines TET scans MRI scans etc the next topic is center moods policy on synthetic biology so synthetic biology means designing redesigning and fabrication of biological components and biological systems that do not exist in nature so biofuels, bioremediation, bioremedi biosensors, food fortification are some examples of synthetic biology. Next topic is Accelerate Vigyan. So to accelerate and strengthen scientific research mechanisms in the country, Accelerate Vigyan program was launched in 2020 by Science and Engineering Board. So it conducts scientific programs initiate and initiates high-end orientation workshop and create opportunities for research internships so under this program some sub programs are also launched uh, like abhyas program which is used for boosting research and development for pg and phd students through high-end work workshops and for capacity building activities in science and technology some mohan program was also set up the next topic is Vignan Sarvatra Poojate. So it is one, one week festival in the country wide conducted by the Ministry of Culture as a part of Azadika Amrut Mahotsav. So it aims to showcase a, and pay homage to the India's achievements in the 75 years of independence. Next topic is Param Pravega Supercomputer. So it is one of the most powerful supercomputer computers in India and is also the largest in the Indian academic institution. The next topic is Indian Innovation Graphene Center. So graphene is the thinnest and the strongest material in the world that has a good chemical stability, high conductivity and have large surface area and is transparent and lightweight. So the first graphene innovation center is established in India in Thrissur region of Kerala. Next topic is Ramanujan P Prize for Young Mathematician. So it was awarded to a researcher from a developing country who is less than 45 years of age and is working in any um, branch of mathematics sciences so in 2021 professor nina gupta from india was awarded the prize for the outstanding work in the uh, and algebraic geometry and cumulative geometry the next topic is pluto's atmospheric pressure so Scientists have derived the accurate value of the Pluto's atmospheric pressure which is 60,000 times less than the atmospheric pressure at the mean sea level on the earth. So it was calculated using 3.6 meters Devastal optical telescope which is the India's largest optical telescope and 1.3 Devastal fast optical telescope. Next topic is EOS-4, Earth Observation Satellite 4. So this is the fourth series of the Earth Observation Satellite and can capture images for agriculture, forestry, flood mapping, soil moisture and hydrology. It is launched by PSLV. The next topic is Parker Solar Probe. 
so it is the first spacecraft which has flown through sun's upper surface upper atmosphere so on its way it has sent some data regarding venus so the parker solar probe was able to peer beneath venus thick atmosphere and look visible and and also took the visible light images of the surface so the th- scientists have found that the venus sky is fully uh, filled with the thick toxic clouds that rain sulfuric acid the next topic is geomagnetic storm that killed starlink satellite so magnetosphere is that area of space that is controlled by the planet's magnetic field so geomagnetic storm is the major disturbance in the earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is the exchange of energy from solar wind into the space environment surrounding the planet so due to the geomagnetic storm starlink satellites were destroyed next topic is bone uh, bone ossification test so it is a test due to uh, used to determine the age of the person based on the person's bones framework next topic is conversion therapy so it also can be called as reparative therapy or gay cure therapy which is used to change someone's sexual identity so national medical commission held that conversion therapy is banned in india and even in the countries like brazil uk der malta switzerland germany chile etc have introduced criminal ban for practicing conversion therapy next topic is neocov so it is a bat coronavirus that was the first identified in 2011 so in uh, the neo romica bat species this kind of coronavirus is identified the next topic is poliomyelitis or polio polio is a highly infectious viral disease that affects the children under 5 years and may affect the spinal cord causing muscle weakness and paralysis so wild polio virus is the most commonly known form of the polio virus so malawi country was recorded as africa's first wild polio virus case in 5 years next topic is lassa fever lassa fever is a zoonotic disease that spreads from animal to human so generally it is passed through the infected rats so uh, it was first discovered in 1969 in nigeria and it is found in the parts of west africa including sierra leone liberia, liberia guinea and nigeria next topic is cases in fairbanks disease and acromegaly in india so fairbanks disease is also known as multiple epiphyseal dys- dysplasia and in this the bones are elongated and next coming to acromegaly disease so this disease is caused by the excessive secretion of growth hormones next topic is havana syndrome havana syndrome is a mysterious illness which is affected to the us diplomats and intelligence officials worldwide so this syndrome involves hearing certain sounds without any outside noise being present nausea vertigo and headaches memory loss and issues with the balance are the, the symptoms of this havana syndrome next topic is services e health assistance and teleconsultation so it is an online medical platform where a patient can consult a doctor remotely through the internet using the smartphone laptop desktop or uh, tablet so it was launched under the ministry of defense next topic is fss ai health star rating so food safety and standards authority of india started star rating systems so the packaged foods will display the number of stars of on the front of the pack indicating how healthy or unhealthy the food pack is next topic is artificial snow 
so in winter olympics athletes have completed uh, have competed on the artificial snow so artificial snow is uh, produced by the machine that uses high pressure pump to spray a mist of water into the cold air so the water droplets crystallize and flo- and form fake snow next topic is net neutrality so net neutrality is the idea that the internet service providers treat all the data fairly without any discrimination of other apps sites or services the next topic is space debris so under network for space objects tracking and analysis netra project Uh, isro is building orbital debris tracking system by using the new radars and optical telescopes so space debris can be both natural meteoroids and artificial orbital debris the next topic is genome editing so genome editing is a way of making specific changes to the dna of a cell or organism so there are two types of genome editing the first one is germline therapy uh, therapy and the second one is somatic therapy so germline therapy change dna in the reproductive cells and th- uh, somatic therapy change dna in the non reproductive cells so ministry of environment forest and climate change has for the first time issued an order exempting certain types of genome editing crops from regulation so genome editing techniques are Uh, the crispr cas9 cas9 zinc finger nucleus and talens that is transcription activator like effector nucleus so these are some of the techniques the next topic is chandrayaan 2 makes first observation of distribution of argon 40 in moon's atmosphere so Uh, argon 40 was found in the lunar exosphere by chandrayaan 2 so previously nasa's apollo 17 has also detected the presence of argon 4 so chandrayaan 2 was the india's lun- india's lunar mission to explore the south pole of moon by landing its rover the next topic is the gsat 7b and india's other military satellites so gsat 7b series satellites are advanced geosynchronous transfer orbit satellites developed by the isro to meet the communication needs of the defense services the next topic is exomars so european space agency is going to launch exomars in 2028 exomars mission aim to address the uh, questions whether life has ever existed on mars or not next topic is cluster bombs and thermobaric weapons so cluster bombs or cluster muti- muni- uh, mut- um, mutations are non accurate weapons that are designed to kill or injure human beings over a large area or to destroy vehicles or infrastructure so these are prohibited under the conven- convention on cluster mut- munitions but russia ukraine india are not part of it the next type is thermobaric weapons Th- these are also called aerosol bombs so fuel air explosives or vacuum bombs are also called this thermobaric weapons so this weapons uses oxygen from the air so it releases al- uh, a cloud of fuel and metal particles that spread over a large area and then explode so these are not prohibited by any international law the next topic is man portable air defense systems so these are short range lightweight and portable surface to air missi- missiles that can be fired by individuals to destroy aircraft or helicopters so they have fire and forget systems so western countries sent these man pads to the ukraine the next topic is kamikaze drones so these are the small unmanned aircrafts that are packed with explosives and blast when it hits the target so these are difficult to detect on radar and are 
cost effective so us has supplied kamikaze drones to the ukraine so other countries like russia china israel uh, iran and turkey also have some versions of it the next topic is kavach so kavach is an indigenously developed brain uh, sorry train collision avoidance system so it is developed by the research design and standards organization the next topic is who's global center for traditional Me- medicine in india so traditional medicines refers to the health practice to treat treat diagnose and prevent illness by practicing ayurveda yoga naturopathy unani siddha and homeopathy and sova rokpa types of traditional treatments so who's global center for traditional medicines was set up in gujarat next topic is world tuberculosis day 2022 observed on 24th march so tb is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis so it can spread from person to person through air so india tb report with the theme coming together to end tb altogether and national tb prevalence survey report was released and as per these reports 2021 has witnessed 19 percent increase in the tb patients than 2022 uh, and in india childhood tuberculosis is 31 percent worldwide and as per the results the national tb prevalence survey 64 symptomatic population did not seek health care services so India's vision, vision is to end TB by 2025. So some of the steps that are taken by the government to en- eliminate TB are National Strategic Plan for Tuberculosis Elimination 2017-25 20, to 25, and National Tuberculosis Elimination mesh, uh, Program. The next topic is Xenotransplantation. So it is a transplantation of human cells, tissues, organs from a non-human animal source so pigs are increasingly being used for this as their organs are similar to those of the humans and are uh, tuned uh, tuned for the genetic engineering also next topic is traditional medicines so in gujarat global center for traditional medicine was launched so some initiatives taken by india to promote traditional and complementary medicines that is t and cm or ayush systems are first one is national ayush mission that is nam so it was launched to promote strengthen educational systems in ayush that is ayurveda yoga unani siddha and homeopathy Next is Champion Services Sector Scheme for Medical Value Travel. So to support medical tourism and to support for establishing world-class state of art Ayush hospitals, this program was launched. The next is Ayush Export Promotion Council. So to export Ayush products and services and to showcase uh, its in, it in the international exhibitions by collaborating with international agencies like who iso etc was also launched the next is ayur swastya yojana so it is an umbrella scheme to promote community health care and health units the next is ayush information cell so this has been set up in 31 countries to provide information about the ayush systems the next topic is one health So, One Health is an approach that recognizes that the health of the people is closely connected to the health of the animals and and the shared environment. So, Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying has launched One Health pilot project in Uttarakhand. So, a One Health approach tackles shared problems of health threats by uh, looking at all the angles like planet plants humans animals and environment the next topic is solid fuel ducted ramjet technology so ramjet is the air breathing engine where it uses air to burn the fuel so it works efficiently in the supersonic speed so scramjet or supersonic combustion 
ramjet is an improved version of the ramjet where it works effectively at the supersonic speed next is dual mode ramjet so dual mode ramjet is a type of jet where it works efficiently at the super subsonic and supersonic modes the next topic is gagan so gps aided geo augmentation augmented navigation so it is indian satellite based augmentation system jointly developed by airport authority of india and isro for india and neighboring countries in the equatorial region the next topic is evo s2 satellite so evo s2 our earth observatory satellite 2 was launched in august 2022 by sslv and it is developed by the isro the next topic is telangana space tech framework so telangana is the base for defense and aerospace companies so it has over 1000 msmes related to aerospace defense and space sectors so this framework was launched with a vision of establishing a state as a globally recognized destination for space technology the next topic is space bricks so with the soil of the mars planet guar gum which is a bacteria and with urea and nickel chloride bricks can be made next topic is nasa perseverance rover so it was launched in 2020 by, to study the mars planet so it has captured the solar eclipse on the mars the next topic is genetically engineered mosquitoes so to control the spread of vector diseases like chikungunya dengue zika and yellow fever the scientists have engineered a gene that will kill female offspring of wild aedes aegypti mosquitoes the next topic is w boson so w boson is a fundamental particle with a greater mass so it is responsible for weak nu- weak force which is one of the four fundamental forces the four fundamental forces are gravitational force weak nuclear force strong nuclear force and electromagnetic force so w boson will help to study the universe genetically modified crops so genetic modification technology involves direct manufic- manipulation of dna of many organisms like plants animals bacteria so some examples of genetic modified crops are rice is modified for resistance to drought salinity tungrom virus gel mills bacterial leaf blight and wheat is modified for quality heat tolerance resistance to leaf rust and stripe rust kernel blunt powdery mildew and cotton is modified for fiber strength and oil content gene stacking maize is modified for quality protein biofortification eggplant is modified for resistance against fruits and short bo- short borer mustard is modified for seed yield and oil content low glucosinolate aphid resistance and uh, soya bean is modified for resistance to yellow mosaic virus chickpea is modified for resistance against pod borers sorghum is modified for shoot fly resistance and groundnut is modified for the resistance against tsv virus so various laws and acts procedures are also implemented governing the genome editing in india they are biological diversity act of 2006 so droughts uh, six droughts and cosmetics act of to, for 1947 seed act of 1968 protection of plant varieties and farmer rights 2009 food safety and standards act 2006 disaster management act of 2005 so recently the department of biotechnology issued guidelines for safety assessment of genome edited plants 2022 easing norms for research into the genetically modified crops The next topic is rice fortification. So rice fortification is a process of adding micronutrients like iron, folic acid and vitamin B12 to rice. So recently Department of Food and Public Distribution has issued standards operating procedures to maintain desired quality standards for implementation of rice fortification to address malnutrition, anemia, micronutrients deficiencies and 
అబవ్ ఫుడ్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్ అథారిటీ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఎఫ్ఎస్ఎస్ఐఐ ఇన్ ద ఫుడ్ ఫోర్టిఫికేషన్ దిస్ వన్ దిస్ ఎఫ్ఎస్ఎస్ ఏఐ ఈజ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ అండర్ ద ఫుడ్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ స్టాండర్డ్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్ అండర్ ద మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ హెల్త్ అండ్ ఫ్యామిలీ వెల్ఫేర్ సో ఇట్ లేస్ డౌన్ సైన్స్ బేస్డ్ స్టాండర్డ్స్ ఫర్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేట్స్ దేర్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ స్టోరేజ్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సేల్ అండ్ ఇంపోర్ట్స్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ జి దట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్త్ జనరేషన్ సో ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ హ్యాస్ ఇనాగరేటెడ్ ద కంట్రీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్ట్ బెడ్ విచ్ ఇస్ యూస్డ్ ఫర్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్టింగ్ అండ్ రీసెర్చ్ సో టోటల్ ఎయిట్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ హ్యావ్ కొలాబరేటెడ్ ఫర్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ద కంట్రీస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైవ్ జి టెస్ట్ బెడ్ టు ఇంప్రూవ్ ద స్టార్ట్అప్స్ అండ్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ప్లేయర్స్ టు టెస్ట్ అండ్ వ్యాలిడేట్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్స్ లోకల్లీ అండ్ రెడ్యూస్ ద డిపెండెన్స్ ఆన్ ద ఫారెన్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ హైపర్లూప్ సిస్టమ్ సో హైపర్లూప్ సిస్టమ్ ఇస్ అ హై స్పీడ్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ సిస్టమ్ దట్ యూజెస్ రినీవబుల్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ క్యాన్ మూవ్ అట్ వెరీ హై స్పీడ్ సో దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సిస్టమ్ క్యాన్ బీ యూస్డ్ ఫర్ పబ్లిక్ అండ్ గూడ్స్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ సో ఇండియన్ రైల్వేస్ కొలాబరేటెడ్ విత్ ఐఐటి మడ్రాస్ ఫర్ ద డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండిజినస్ హైపర్లూప్ సిస్టమ్ సో ద బెనిఫిట్స్ ఆఫ్ హైపర్లూప్ టెక్నాలజీ ఆర్ హై స్పీడ్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ లో పవర్ కన్జంప్షన్ కన్వీనియంట్ అండ్ నాన్ డిస్ట్రప్టివ్ lower carbon emissions and climate change economical for long term and weather and disaster proof next topic is lithium ion battery so lithium ion battery is a family of rechargeable battery types consisting of four components in lithium ion cell so they are anode cathode separator and aqueous ele- electrolyte so recently union government has constituted an expert panel to probe the recent series of battery explosions in an electric vehicles so advantages are of the lithium battery are it has high specific density which is a parameter of detecting amount of charge a battery can supply and it has high voltage high energy density and low self discharge so disadvantages are it has thermal runaway which leads to catching fire less stability high reactivity and fragility the next topic is virtual private networks so or vpn so it is a secure connection between a com- com- uh, computing device and a company network using public internet so uh, it organizations and other companies use vpn connections for safe and secure working capacity the next topic is scientific um the next topic is scientific social responsibility so it is an ethical obligation of knowledge workers in the field of science and technology to contribute their knowledge and resources to the society so department of science and technology has released scientific social responsibility guidelines in 2022 the next topic is black holes so a black hole is a place in the space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out so this can happen when a star is dying recently a black hole at the center of milky way was photographed for the first time the next topic is biological research regulatory approval portal so this portal provides all the regulatory approvals for biological research in the single portal and bio rad id is generated the next topic is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 as2 so it is a receptor protein that provides entry point for a coronavirus into a human cell the next topic is monkey pox so it is a zoonotic disease where animal to human transmission can takes place through the ortho orthopox virus genus and the next one is ministry of ayush and food safety and standards authority of india fssai formulates regulations for ayurveda ahar products so uh, regulations of uh, and the food safety guidelines were made for manufacturing quality ayurveda food products so that international markets can be expanded under the make in india the next topic is stratospheric observatory for infrared astronomy sofia mission 
so it is a joint project in collaboration between nasa and german space agency so it is a telescope inside boeing aeroplane which is flying at an altitude of 40000 feet above the surface so nasa is planning to shut down the sofia telescope so it has found water on the moon and also discovered helium hydro hydroxide sorry hydride the next topic is plants in the moon's soil so moon soil is also called regolith so it was brought to the earth and um, grown a hardy plant called arabidopsis thaliana so a plant was grown on the moon soil so the next topic is scientific research infrastructure sharing maintenance and network guidelines so shriman guidelines are released by the department of science and technology for better access and sharing of public funded scientific research and development the next topic is artificial intelligence based era stay to make uh, roads in india safer to drive so here uh, intelligent solutions for road safety through technology and engineering project so it is developed under national mission on interdisciplinary cyber physical systems which aims to create strong foundation and seamless ecosystems for cyber physical systems by coordinating and integrating nationwide efforts for knowledge generation human resource development and research etc next topic is prime minister's wifi access network interface pm vani scheme so this scheme was launched under the ministry of railways and free wifi services are provided across 100 railway stations in 22 dis- stations states the next topic is paramporul so it is a supercomputer manufactured and assembled within the country under the phase 2 of national supercomputing mission built it a uh, built at nit tiruchirappalli the next topic is quantum internet quantum internet will connect quantum computers all over the world so it will enable to send and receive information using the quantum bits the next topic is true random number generator so it will improve security for the sensitive digital data private sector in space program of india so prime minister called for higher participation of the private sector in space programs at inauguration event of in space in ahmedabad so in space is the indian national space promotion and authorization center so it is an autonomous single window nodal agency to promote authorize monitor and supervise the space activities of the non governmental private entities in india and the other space programs that provide private players are the nsil which is a new space india limited so this encourages collaboration of private sectors and startups in the space sector the next topic is green hydrogen so the hydrogen produced through using the renewable energy is called green hydrogen so a report green hydrogen opportunities for deep decarbonization in india was released by the niti aayog and this report states that green hydrogen is cre- critical to india's net zero ambitions for 2070 so some other technologies for green hydrogen production are first one is alkali um yes alkaline electrolyzers technology polymer electrolyte membrane electrolyzers and solid oxide electrolyzers so these are some of the technologies uh, to promote the green hydrogen in india and uh, to promote the green hydrogen initiatives in india national hydrogen mission was launched to target production of 5 million tons of green hydrogen by 2030 and india's green hydrogen policy was also launched to promote the production in the private sector by making some regulations next is the types of hydrogen so if the uh, if the hydrogen is produced 
using renewable energy then it is called green hydrogen if it is produced through methane pyrolysis method then it is called clockwise hydrogen if it is produced by electricity using grid elect uh, grid electricity then it is called yellow hydrogen if it is produced through natural gas then it is called black or gray hydrogen if it is produced through fossil fuels then it is called brown hydrogen if it is produced through sequestering brown or gray hydrogen then it is called blue hydrogen if it is produced by using nuclear power then it is called pink or purple or red hydrogen and if it is produced through the by product of industrial processes then it is called white hydrogen the next topic is food safety so uh, food safety and standards authorization of india has released the food state food safety index so the parameters of the index are consumer empowerment training and capacity building food testing infrastructure and surveillance compliance human resources and institutional data so some initiatives launched for food safety are eat right india um, blissful hygiene hygienic offering to god hygiene rating of restaurants the next topic is 5G open radio access network (RAN). So it is a technology that connects mobile users over the radio waves. So the center of development of telematics, VSIG Networks Private Limited, DVDN Technologies Private Limited have signed the agreement for developing the 5G open RAN. The next topic is Web 5.0. So Web 5.0 aims to build an extra decentralized web where we can control our own data and identif identity. So other previous web versions are Web 1.0. So Web 1.0 in this we can only read the data from web pages. Web 2.0 in this uh, internet was made interactive and uh, was able to communicate with the servers in web 3.0 the secure the data was read by machines and interpreted the information in web 4.0 these services are autonomous self-learning and collaborative the next topic is liquid mirror telescope so it is a it is india's first and asia's largest liquid mirror telescope it was built by the astronomers from india belgium and canada it has a rotating mirror made up of thin film of liquid mercury to collect focused light so it is present in the divastal observatory of aryabhatta research institute of observation sciences in uttarakhand where it observes asteroids supernova space debris and other celestial objects the next topic is fast radio bursts. So these are the bright bursts of radio radio waves whose duration lie in the millisecond scale. So these are first discovered in 2007 and their origin is unknown. Next topic is Artemis Accord. So this accord aims to return humans to the moon's surface by 2025 with the help of US allies and private companies. So UK, Japan, France, Canada have signed this accord. The next topic is Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment. So it is a part of Artemis Accord launched by NASA to fly near and around the moon. Next topic is Cancer Cure. So many US patients were cured with uh, rectal cancer called mismatch repair deficient cancer the patient suffering from this condition lack the genes to correct types of dna that occur naturally while cells make copies called immunotherapy next topic is steel slag so steel slag is a byproduct of steel making so it can be used in agriculture sector to correct soil acidity so it can also be used for transportation industry construction cement production wastewater and waste water wastewater treatment etc next topic is nixtamalization so the ancient people of central america are called maya people so they used to fortify the food by adding it nutrients to maize through uh, to a maize food material through a chemical process known as nixtamalization. 